One of the temptations we face as investors is to try to time the stock market. With the benefit of hindsight, it's easy to see when, ideally, we should have bought or when we should have sold. The problem with market timing is that it's very hard to do in practice, not least because in times of market volatility, market sentiment can change very quickly. Here's Jan Karl Plager, an investment analyst at Vanguard. When we look at, at uh, the historical performance of pretty much every equity market around the world, we see lots of ups and downs, we see lots of, of peaks and troughs. And um, when, when we look at those, it's of course very, very tempting to then say, well, had I sold around the peak and then uh, just avoided the, the uh, depreciation and then re-entered somewhere around the trough, I would have done much better. But um, our analyses uh, and, and simulation, uh, simulations show that um, it can happen quite quickly that we don't get the timing right. And if we uh, leave the market either, uh, either too early or re-enter the market too late, we uh, can very quickly end up in a scenario where we significantly lag behind from a performance perspective compared to the performance that a buy and hold investor would have generated. So when markets are volatile, the best approach is simply to sit tight. But it's not easy to do, especially if you're feeling stressed or anxious. Here's a helpful tip. Good advice could be not to look at the portfolio um, and its performance too often, especially when markets uh, are more turbulent. Uh, in fact, there, there are external studies out there that find that uh, the more often investors look at their portfolios, uh, especially in times of distress, um, yeah, the, the, the more anxious they become and uh, the higher the premium they demand in order to stay invested. It's just better for investors not to, to look at their uh, investment too, too often as that might prevent them from selling, um, selling out of their investment at the worst possible time, which it typically is uh, if investors leave the market after it drew down once we are in a period of distress. Something else that can help in a choppy market is to ignore the noise, to stop reading market commentary and to avoid financial TV channels like CNBC. You may also want to speak to your financial advisor or if you don't yet have an advisor, to find one to keep you focused on your long-term goals. Well, I think it's important for advisors to be a voice of reason, to tell investors that uh, volatility comes with the territory, that uh, bear markets have always been there and uh, that it's important not to panic in times of, of turbulence, in times of uncertainty, to stay the course. Finally, remember that market downturns are inevitable. And it's precisely because equity markets are so uncertain that we can expect a healthy return for investing in them.